Hey, thanks, buddy. <laughs> Jim 2 3. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for my life. <laughs> All right, but I, this is definitely a run back from Frostbite. Uh, and actually, uh, Shuton did reverse 3 0 Nairo in top eight yes, of Frostbite. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I mean, we'll see who gets the run back here. Um, I, I feel like Nairo is definitely a player that is really good against Olimar because Olimar is a character that you want to smother. Yes. You want to like offensively just dismantle this character. Don't let this character set up. Don't let this character get the two, pick, uh, two purple Pikmin. You know what I mean? Yep, you don't want Monique to out to play. Yeah, yeah. Nairo going to be on that Palutena, of course. Definitely still has a bunch of other characters, but I feel like Palutena, especially for this tournament, has been his go-to. Yes, and I respect it. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, his Palutena has been looking so clean this entire tournament. Really, really good. Enough. And I, I, I know the knife is in the chat. Of course. No, oh, you already you know they're popping off. You, you know the Nairo Apexes <laughs> are out to play. It's, you already know, yep. man. Shout out, shout out to the, uh, the nation. Man. The nation. All right, so right now, she's on, on the ledge trap. They get the NBC damage here already. And, you know, it's very interesting because... I mean, when you talk about being offensive, you usually don't look at uh, Olimar Sabiso, but again, even Futon, Futon is really an offensive master himself in his yes. own right. And that's kind of what throws people for spin, because he recognizes for Olimar, Olimar has kind of lackluster defense in a very unorthodox way, not for much, a lot of characters. Like, your dead shield, uh, shield guy's not really going to be there. Uh, because of how Pikmin operate, you're going to be able to kind of do short hop aerial screw it and whatnot. You have that blind spot at, like, an opportune space, for a lot of characters because you utilize short hop areas. Like, wow, what a catch there. Deep sea fishing. Nairo yep, is out diving. there. I don't <laughs> care how low you go. I will get this backer. I will get this hit. I'm going to get that edge guard. And that is Nairo's specialty. And dang, the jab lock into the forward smash. The purple at that. Ooh, good stuff. The damage is going to get that dash attack into him outside the stage. Potential here. Kind of pin him down in this corner. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh my gosh, did T just beat Tweak? Oh, he did. Oh, he 100% did. He's pointing to everybody. Yo, what the heck? <laughs> just come off? Yo, wait, why is he shooting at people? What the heck? <laughs> Shoot the fruits, man. Yeah, he's like, yo, eat, eat your veggies, son. <laughs> Damn, all right. You, you win, dude. Right. And just like that, not on his last stock, though. Yep. And Shuton definitely is still looking very commanding in this oh. matchup. And don't forget, this is the man that uh, pretty much bodied America oh, yeah. in the crew battle. Oh, 100%. Like, like all of them there. Yeah, he actually disrespected oh, every, every America, nation. North, North America. <laughs> every yeah, yeah. every <laughs> nation was disrespected, dude. <laughs> or every state, dude. Damn, look at him. And one thing I really like to point out about Chuton's defense is that he's, he's got the parries on deck. Yeah. We saw, he, 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 every time I see him play against, like, especially like any wolves and stuff like that, yep. or just any character with really good nares, he's just got the parries on deck. And man, yeah, exactly. he's sure looking small now. You got to watch Wow. Him. Yep, and of course, shout out to freaking Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> Is that his name? Yep, dude. <laughs> Lawrence always puts in work. Look at him, dude. Look at him dancing around. He's like, yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, who you with? Where your mama stay? <laughs> why, why are you walking around them like that? <laughs> so do you, do you think we're going to see a character switch? Ah, oh, man. You know. Because that was a pretty convincing two-stop, honestly. I honestly would like to see one. Uh, one of the things, again, usually the reason why short hop aerials are really good against uh, Olimar is twofold. The fact of the matter is that Pikmin in general, because of how their priority works, you can kind of swing through them. And, but even if you land on their shield, usually you have a really fast jab or down tilt or something that you can do safely on Olimar because Olimar can't gra shield grab in time. But for the thing about it is when you actually go ahead and look at uh, Olimar, you look at Palutena, Palutena doesn't really have that secondary tool to yeah. kind of cover options. You're not going to throw her jab or do any of her tilts there. So. He hasn't been able to pressure in that way, and I think Shuton's been taking advantage of it. And I feel like Nairo's out in terms of this edge guard or this uh, this matchup, or just Olimar in general is his edge guard. I, I I would really like to see the Lucina. I don't know how much he has prepared the Lucina for this tournament, but yeah. it, it it would be really nice to see the Lucina come out just because Lucina's edge guarding is like pretty much I think one of the best in the game. Absolutely, absolutely. And right now Shuton already making quick work of this stock, already 116 percent. Another thing too, I, I just feel like in general, Nairo wants to get up in, you know, Shuton's face because that's generally what you want to do against Olimar. True. But like, I, I feel like Paulo doesn't have amazing tools when you get up into that Exactly, boxing. exactly. And that's a problem. You need to have some kind of, at least, decent boxing tools. And Paulo just doesn't really have those. And there's the up throw. Up we go. And Shuton, pretty commanding here. Already, on like, only 50% on, yeah. that, uh, on that first stop. Oh, absolutely. The dash and tag. And the per we got one purple out, and he's going to pull another one pretty soon. So after this hit, Ooh, we're gonna see I like that. Okay, 
purple is the next pool, but like, yep. it, it, that's the one thing about Omar. I feel like he's almost like a ticking time bomb as well. Yeah. Once you deal with two purples, line up, like, look at this. You got two purples oh, and like, no. insert any other Pikmin. It doesn't yep. matter. What it doesn't even is. matter, man. Yo, Monique came out to play. Yeah, and right now, Nairo Yo. just having <laughs> so much trouble. And look at that. Every time, you know, Omar in disadvantage with the purple, so yep. much harder to deal with. Oh, my goodness. And he's going to save all those purples wow, as well. So oh, hard. my goodness. Yes. Oh, what a recovery. The one gets sacrificed for the greater yep, good. For the greater good. Okay, there's down throw. Oh, upper not going to connect. He needs to nail his edge guard, but shoot on going high. And uh, once again, I just. Okay, wow. Okay, put the back throw. <laughs> yeah, the back yeah, throw yeah. Throw. absolutely. No edge guard required. Yep, no just edge guard required. <laughs> one yeet is all you need. All right, so we'll see if Nairo can bring this back. Of course, Nairo having that offensive capability, I never count him out in any game he's in. True. Man, it's been rough, man. A lot of the parries. Yep, pressure. That is. Safe.com. <laughs> you are not pressing that. You like the, the pairings of like the super charge. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like, I, I I think you're shook, so I, yep. I think like you need to do something else. And I love that too because it's one of those things like once you get a little bit of charge, it's gonna be safe no matter what. And it's really it's taking advantage of your turn, exactly. And like you're definitely gonna just do a lot of shield damage and then the next situation you're like more so setting up for the next situation for pressure. Exactly. Now shoots on offstage going high once again. Nope, faking it out, going dipping back down low. But Nairo honestly making pretty good work of this stock. Already at 98%. The oh, deep. love that. Yep. Oh, oh no. Too deep. 20,000 yeah. leagues <laughs> under the sea deep. I, and you know what? There is even some Edgars that are too deep for even the man being Nairo. Yeah, sometimes you don't have energy to come back up, you know what I mean? Dang. <laughs> sometimes, yeah. But you know what? Who could have made it back? A uh, Lucina double jump back. Hundred percent. I I, like I, 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 I just really I just really want to see it. And like I said, I don't know how prepared the Lucina is, and of course, it really just comes down to how confident Nairo is in whichever character. If he's, is it, if he's feeling confident in the Palutena, definitely stay with the Palutena. You always want to go with the confidence pick. You always right. want to go with the comfort pick. But we'll we'll see if we get a character change in general. I mean, obviously, I know everyone in the chat wants to see the game. But, uh, yeah. Spoilers. Yeah. Uh, spoilers. Uh, Ganon loses. Yeah. <laughs> spoilers. Uh, <laughs> Super hard. <laughs> Yo, but if he does, though, and he wins? <laughs> nah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Spoilers, guys. Medieval uh, goon is going to lose to a freaking astronaut. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> if you didn't know, yeah, if you didn't know, dude. With technology. With, with <laughs> technology wins. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. All right, so Nairo kind of hovering Lucina, around the whole Lucina, cast. Lucina. I, I, I really want to see it. Zero suit. Okay, you know what? I, I said I want to see Lucina because of the edge guards, right? But another character with solid edge guards, zero suit Samus. Yeah. And yeah. he's been edge guarding with zero suit all of Smash Wars. Yeah. Definitely knows how to do it. We have the back airs on point. We have the sure. flip kick as a resource as well. Yeah. That was set up for the spikes. So I definitely do still agree with this pick. And you know what? It's fine, Saga, baby. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Let it out. Do it for the Metroid. Fans. Yeah. And right, so it shoots on. I mean, does, does Shoko still play zero suit? Yes, he does. Oh, okay, so Chuzon definitely going to have that matchup experience. Exactly. That's, um, that's kind of why I didn't want to see this happen. Yeah. Um, because I do think that uh, Choco is giving him sufficient enough experience to where he knows. And you kind of see it right now. You'll notice the way that the ranges he's in. He knows when he needs to air dodge. And he's not been hit by any solid conversion at all. And now he's landed like three landing nares. I mean, that is the bread of the butter. All right? Yeah, and... And Shuton is just anti everything. It just seems like he has an answer for almost every way Nairo wants to come in here. But we finally get an opening. Gets a trade, but Nairo lives. We have an Ooh, all-stage situation. Wow. Oh, wait a minute. Wow, okay. I like the boost kick trade. But Shuton's going to get back on stage. Easy and that, catch, yeah. yeah that is going to be a punish on Shuton's part. The yellow up smash is going to be enough to do it because Nairo is just so high percent. Yeah. Oh, okay. The lingering hit of the side. He's going to set up this offstage. And again, look at that flip kick. You're going to be able to reset. So even if Nairo necessarily like misses the edge guard, he can always reset at, with the flip kick, get back on stage, and at least still get his life. True. Sure. Which I really, really like. Oh, man. That yellow pick is going in. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's... Those are hands. <laughs> yeah. Yo, but Nairo got the back air on deck. And I, I just feel like this is a night and day for sure. the, um, compared to the last game for the Paul team. Absolutely. Wow, where did that room go? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> like, Smash is just yeah, always like, nah, man, I ain't going that far. All right, flip kick once again. And yeah, she's on do it, but oh, wait a minute. Okay. Oh, I'm trying to go for a double fair, not going to land it. I wonder oh, if you, that fair. Do you have enough time to set up off that parallel or off the doubt smash to go into the falling air flip kick? I, I don't know if there's like, they nerfed the time or whatever. They did nerf the time. I think that oh, okay, also, okay, even so. the later hitbox of it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't stun you as long anymore. Oh, okay. So it, it's it's so unfortunate. So Naira has to go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, but shoots on calling out the jump, but Nairo still surviving here, 129. And I mean, Olimar is light. If we get a solid tech chase or a and solid grab barrier, next. he's waiting for it. He's trying to get to the landing. Oh, yeah. and look at the lineup. Yo, he rotated it. Now he doesn't. Yep. Oh, Easy. So smart, paying attention to that lineup and shoots exactly. on setting up that situation. Yeah. And I love how he was looking for it initially, and in a moment he's like, oh, I don't have it here. So I'm just going to rotate, and I'll get it back again. Yes, I need mean, yes. throw his mind off really quickly and go from there. Really good stuff. He did the whistle into the aerial, exactly. into the grab, and yep. rotated a full rotation, and yeah. Nairo just wasn't ready for it. He wasn't it. ready. And now shoots on getting this lead, and Nairo's winner bracket life, depending on this. This is only top 32, yeah, guys. Yeah, man, this is actually wild. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah, he's like, oh, yeah, he's... He, he, oh, yeah. Man, and this is it, it's so hard for Nairo to get yeah. any shoots on. It's definitely making it so so troublesome. Already taking 80. This is looking like clockwork, man. Yeah. This is looking like easy clockwork. Look at this lineup again, man. Yeah, and now the yellow ticking away. Yep. We also got the purple on deck as well with the blue that Nairo has to respect. Oh, we got Dexter and Billy and Monique. Oh, oh, oh no. We got the squad. Oh, yeah, yeah. The squad is actually here. Trying to close it out with this up air. Oh, it's so that was a white up smash. If any other yep. Pikmin was there, that would have been death for sure. Yeah. Oh, and the oh, whistle. The, the whistle. Oh, no, and no. here comes your life. Man, dash up, up air, dude. Yeah. Yes. Because the up smash has item priority. Yep. So technically, it's not like a solid anti-air because a move will beat it out. Yep. So shoot on when he wants to anti-air, he does opt yes. for that up air instead, which is pretty much a sword move. No, right? absolutely. And I love that.